Hey, welcome back, you made it. We're in the Let's Play world on episode 347. I think that's right, that means, oh man, three, oh, three episodes to go. Then I'm gonna do another world tour. Oh, this one's gonna be even longer too. I don't even know how I'm gonna do it. I don't wanna put it into parts. I'm gonna try to do like one long video and I want it to be long. I hope my editor will handle it. First off, I need to put lights under here and I'm never gonna do it unless I do it now, so let's do it. There we go, nice and organized, right? Right? Okay, that makes things a little brighter. I still don't like that on the wall though, but what can you do? So I wouldn't mind working on my future arena. Well, I wanna clear it out. I don't have the brick right now, but I wouldn't mind seeing how much space I have to work with. Bob! I didn't know you were part of the Traders Guild, although you are a trader. Trader, not a trade, but you are a trader as well because you never give me a good trade. How are you gonna? Okay, go to one of the vendors down here with those trades. You're gonna get a slap to the face. <laughs> it was just a prank. It was just a prank. All right, that's all the space we have to work with because those walls meet some of the vendors' sections. That's a lot of space, though. Yeah, that's actually perfect. I'm gonna dig this down at least eight blocks and that's gonna be the muddy pit where people fight for their lives. Where's all the doctors? Oh, that's my fault. Dang it, well I can't get tested now. Tested for what you say? So it's been quite a few days since my last clip I recorded there and well, I went on a trip, okay? And it was kind of a risky trip I know during these times, but it's been a while since I've been able to get out and do some fun stuff, so I was like, why not? You know, why not? It was fun and all over the weekend, I went on a float trip on Current River in Missouri. Had a blast, then we all drove home, just three of us in a car. When I got home, the next day my brother called me and said the person we were riding with got the virus. <laughs> and that scared the crap out of me considering the fact that I just got back from my parents, my mother just went to see my grandparents all after seeing me, and yeah. Thing is, I don't really have that many symptoms, and I'm getting tested today but I am pretty lightheaded quite a lot of the time. I, was, I thought it was just an aftermath of having a crazy weekend, but I'm starting to add up all these little things I've been noticing recently, and I, I think I might have it, and it kind of sucks. Um, but I am gonna go get tested today, and I most likely will come out positive. But, I mean, no need to worry about me. I mean, us young folk kind of tend to push through it. I'm just worried about all the people I talked to and my parents and all that. But I am back home now, and I can start making some videos again. Um, I just put it off for a few days because, well, I had this going on and had to figure out some stuff. I was actually hoping I'd wake up today with like no symptoms at all, but I'm starting to get a sniffly nose in the summertime, and I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> uh, any hizzle, that's an enchanted bow. I want to, I put the pressure plates back. I like it better. I like walking on the piano rather than pushing a button, even though it makes more sense because you wouldn't just jump up on your piano with your, anyway, yeah. Down here, we were working on the, this thing. Yeah, I, I was clearing it out quite a bit. I got some more brick, but I even got more brick now. Um, so I kind of want to see how this will turn out. Got a little bit more work done on the arena in the black market. Turns out, by the way, I don't think I have the virus. From all my symptoms, I think it was sun poisoning because I'm all better now <laughs> and It was just I didn't get tested um, And I still might I just haven't yet, but I'm like hundred percent now <laughs> And I got insanely burned like the worst I've ever got burned in my life And I looked up the symptoms for sun poisoning and it was the, everything that I had so I Think we're good <laughs> But hey look this is the arena so far. Uh, I need a little bit more brick, but I want to go ahead and start placing the mud and dirt down there. I think I just want to use coarse dirt, brown concrete, and maybe some soul sand. No, wait. Soul. Wait, yeah. Soul dirt? Soul, soul, soul soil. Oh, yeah, pods all. <laughs> oh, dang it. Almost broken already. Do I even have netherite? I sure hope I do. Aha! I do, wait, I have enough for a couple. No, just one, dang it. <laughs> then you need a fresh pick, but then you go over here to this now. Wait, right? Yeah. Wow. 
Hey, I kind of like that. Wait. I see what they did there. Did you hear that? They just reused a sound. That was the sound of the anvil, but just really sped up. <laughs> Please tell me I have two. Oh, no. Ah. Okay, so I have coarse dirt, podzol, brown concrete powder, and one more, right? No. Ah, that should do. Okay, so I'm just going to make it look nasty. Probably going to bring some sea pickles down here and a few mushrooms. Do I want the main block? I guess coarse dirt. I guess that looks all right. I could add in some soul sand or soul soil, but actually soul soil doesn't slow you down, but it looks too, I don't know, I'll grab some. But I don't wanna do soul sand because it gets kind of annoying. It would make sense because it's like mud and it would slow you down, but okay, maybe I will, Jesus. Okay, it's turning out all right. I'm gonna borrow this right here because it'll look better down there. This is where people fight to the death. It looks so good. Oh, we already got it. Oh. Hiya! <laughs> See, this is the thing though. I think I want to use this for myself. And, um, how? I guess I need to make some sort of thing that'll lure things down here. Or I can just keep it dark. <gasps> okay. What if I make spawning rooms like this in these coal? Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, so we're going to have dark rooms and then I'm going to bar them off. And then by the press of a lever, they'll all open up and then I'll have to fight them all. <laughs> That'd be interesting, right? Um, where do I want this skull at? Maybe someone perished in this corner from backing away. Now, also, I want to get an armor stand. I had one up here, I think. Wait, it's bedrock you can put shields on armor stands, right? I sure hope so. Yeah, I think it is. Yes, okay, so, no. Can you get me one where you're holding it really high? No, I thought there was, no. Are you kidding me? I thought there was gonna be one where he holds it kind of like that, but at a high point. Dang it, that kind of sucks. Because I wanted it to, because uh, uh, I wanted to drop this down into the ground and push a piston over it to make a block above it to make it look like, well, I guess I can have that. Maybe the shield sticking out of the ground a tiny bit. Oh, like that. Okay, let's just try it. Huh, I'm having other ideas now. Well, not really. I'm gonna start, maybe put some boulders around here, like some rocks. If so, that would make this work really well. Let's do a little bit of that. Oh! Oh my god, that's almost perfect. Maybe the person dropped their shield right next to this rock. Look at that. Look at that. Would you just look at it? I like it. I wonder if you can actually grab it, too. Oh, dang it. Should I? Oh, you can't. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, that's... All. Okay, I like that a lot. So, maybe I'm going to put a few bit of cobblestone here and there. Make it look like more some more rocks. Bob! What are you... Oh, my God. He finally came over. I didn't tell you just to walk in, though. I told you to meet me at the front door. What did I tell you about selling that? And for that price... Oh my god, I'm so edgy! Oh, sunburns are so... Oh my god, I got burnt so bad, like I said. And oh my lord, I'm in that stage where it's all itchy. My whole body's itchy. I can't stand it. Ugh. Okay. Um, so I have another idea now. <laughs> Since I like this little setup, I moved the skull over here as if he died here. Now you can set up an, uh, one of these armor stands to look like, like that right there. L okay, so if I put that armor stand... What block is that hovering above? So I put that un armor stand under this block. I could possibly make the stone sword look like it's leaning up in this corner. But I could also, of course, do the helmet on the ground. But I think a sword would look better. Uh, needs to be turned a little bit. Uh, dang it. Can I turn it that much? Uh, that'd be too much. Or maybe not. Oh, that might be good. No, why is it black? No. I have an idea. Aha, transparent block. See, but you can see the arm sticking out of the ground, but that kind of just looks like broken wood and stuff. 
Yo, that actually looks dope. Look at that. A sword leaning in the corner with a shield bird in the ground next to a skull. I like that. The first test. Let's do this. Come on. Let's go. Give me your best shot. Oh, you got hurt. Oh, good job. Oh. <laughs> well, that changed drastically. Um, Guys, I'm over here. You're supposed to be fighting me. This is far more interesting. Holy crap. Which number one hurts the first one? I mean, she's the one. No, she's, she will be the one if she wins. Which number two takes a lot of damage. She ain't looking so good. She drinks a health potion. Which number one is taking... Oh, they're hurting... They're... Crap, they're hurting the displays. Stop it! <laughs> oh, dang it. She moved my shield. Oh, well. So why don't you just kill each other? What the heck? What the... No! Why did my item... F I mean, my... Get why on God's green, Notch's green earth did my armor stand just die? Are you telling me Bedrock is so cheap that they just made them out of like player models? I'm so mad if that's the case. Oh cool, and supposedly it doesn't drop the shield when it quote unquote dies. Oh, I love the sound of chains. <laughs> Putting a lot around there. You never know what they were used for. Put a gate here as well, open. I'm gonna keep it open. Um, do you think that's a good idea, by the way? I, I don't know where I should do it. I suppose, I guess I should do it in like these areas, make some just really dark rooms. And then a piston opens up a door and they can be flooded in somehow. But they would, well, I guess they would get line of sight of me walking around in here. But I don't even know how many would spawn in dark areas around here. Um, we'll just probably have to schedule stuff where we bring something down here. I'd like to bring like a Ravenger down here or some of those pillagers. But yeah, it has a lot of work to do. I need to figure out what to do with that dirt mess up there. I'll probably just like put planks along it or stone. One last thing, I guess, but they did change it, didn't they? Why would they do that? Why? I liked it better, much better as the dot because it looked like a drop of blood. Now that looks too... I mean, I guess it doesn't look too bad. I guess I can spot it in some areas. Some blood. Yeah, I guess, yeah, it looks more like a splatter, I guess, right? Cool, sure. You know, when are they gonna add it where you can like run it up the side of a wall? That'd be kind of cool. Put some blood splatters on a wall. <laughs> All right, tests have to be made now. I don't know if they added it to this version, but we're about to find out. So I know in Java. Okay, so wait, we need to do a little bit of something like this. One, two, three, four. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Need to add the sound effects. Oh, they did. Look at this, guys. We have vertical slabs, pretty much. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe they did it. That's gonna, oh, do you know how much this changes? Because it basically is vertical, well, not really. It's like three-fourths slabs vertical. No, no. Is it? Yeah. Sure, no, like one third, <laughs> somewhere around there. But um, yeah, now you can have like flat walls with these walls <laughs> and it looks really good. You can add more depth to your builds now. Today's comic question of the day comes from Craft, what? Craft Xart Productions. <laughs> what is one mob you would like to see added to the game? One mob I'd like to see added to the game is not just another lousy two, three hit, four hit kill mob that just spawns randomly. I want some rare spawns. Kind of like, I don't even know. Um, like the raid, for example, when you come across them not during a village raid, but just out in the random wilderness, I'd say a little bit more rare than that, but a big creature. Kind of like the Ravenger, but on his own, not in a group or anything. An example I would probably use is probably from the Witcher universe. Sometimes you come across Cyclopses, and is it Cyclops I? <laughs> Cyclopy, no. <laughs> um, but the Cyclopses on there are one of my favorite animal, <laughs> they're not animals, one of my favorite monsters to fight. You know how cool that would be in Minecraft, just wandering around in the wilderness? Maybe you come across a little hole in the ground or like a little just ruined area, and there's just like a tall cyclops, maybe about as tall as that right there. And 
I, it doesn't have to be a Cyclops. I just want a big creature. It's something that you come across in the wild because every, when you come across random stuff in Minecraft, that's the most exciting points for me um, when adventuring. So I'd say something big, alone, and hard to fight that won't just die over when you bring your sharpness five diamond sword over. Like it, it would still take quite a bit to kill. Maybe it has healing properties or something. More challenging fights. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Uh, again, sorry for the kind of long delay. I, right in my last video, I think, I said I was gonna start doing daily uploads or miss an upload every other day or something like that. I think I was gonna try daily uploads, but I went right on a trip, like I said, and um, kinda had some issues when I came back. We're back on it. See you in the next episode. Take care. And, hmm, you, bye-bye.